I guess I create capture about that life. Did you just throw a rock at me? Uh, yeah, I was trying to kill you. And he's gonna swords dance. Uh oh. Yo, whoa, what's going on, guys? Your boy Dan, aka A Drive. We're back in the sewers. It's time to throw down in Vanguard. I hope you guys are stoked. Show some love, guys, and let's have some fun with this one. I'm a little nervous because I do feel like, um, you know, this isn't this isn't about to be like the easiest thing ever, right? Like I feel like we're we're running into some some pretty big challenges. We do have flash fire, so I feel pretty good just staying in here. Uh, let's just hit him with a nice uh, signal beam. See how much that does. Good damage. We're gonna get snarled. Uh, that means I'm just gonna U-turn out then. We'll just get out of here. But yeah, very excited to play. I don't have a ton of time to record today, but I was so excited to play. I'm like, I gotta just, I gotta just get some game, get some game in. You know what I mean? Gotta get some Vanguard in. I've, I've actually, I think this game is fun, man. Fan games always do it for me. I, I do wish Fox was blue though, man. Blue Jays are so beautiful. There's a swab blue. That we are getting out of here. Dragon, this thing is Dragon and Electric. Let's just go into the boy Zippo. By the way, if you guys haven't done so yet, you already know. Alestrals, baby. We got Starter Decks in stock. We got some other stuff in stock. So don't miss out. You can grab it. Shopalestrals.com. You can check out the little shelf under the video. It actually has all the decks right there. Or like I said, just head to the website. Pick up some Starter Decks. You can join the hype. My game, Alestrals. We crushed our Kickstarter last year. This is the leftover inventory. So this stuff's never getting printed again once it's sold out. So now's your chance to grab it. I would love you guys to join our community. We've got something really, really special. That is a Fire Electro. That thing is wicked looking. He's going to Ancient Power me. I'm going to Ancient Power you. My... Oh, God. He got the boost. He got the boost, everybody. Let's see how much this does, though. I don't reverse boost him. He's going to Ancient Power me back. We're going to tank it like a boss. I'm going to be using some serious potions in this house. So let's definitely get those potions rocking. And we'll figure out what's next. But these grunts are not easy. We got a poison gem. Nice. Oh, you know, I don't know if there's encounters here. Let's see. Yeah, so there is. So I can get an encounter here in the sewers. I'm actually very intrigued to do so. So let's kick on the repel here. I'm very interested, actually. Oh, and there's... Is that Roxy? Wait a minute. I'm going to have to fight Roxy. Is that Roxy just chilling? Oh, we get Gyro Ball too? All right. We got we to gotta fight Roxy. She's got poison types. There's the Ghastly. I'm going to find my encounter. And then I think I'm going to come back and fight Roxy. I think we actually could do it. I have some cool Pokemon on the PC that might, might be solid. These fights are always scary, but I feel like they're so worthwhile. All right, there's that Grimer. I don't know what type he is, but I'm definitely thinking about grabbing that. But I got to see what else is here. Miss Drevis. All right, like that's not a bad one. Yo, it's Varum. I was wondering what the last Pokemon was going to be that was hiding here. And I was just thinking to myself, like, I, it's probably not even going to be worth trying to grab it because, you know, whatever. But it's Varum. So I feel like I am going to grab this thing. It's Steel and Poison. I just said I'm about to take on uh, Roxy, and I feel like having a Steel Poison Pokemon is only going to be an advantage, right? Like, that just seems like it's a very smart idea. So, yeah, we're going to do that. And I, I actually feel, like, pretty decent about that fight, too. So, let's grab a Varum. That's a crit capture about that life. And I'm just going to name you Vroom Vroom. Or just Vroom. My boy Vroom. Um... I think this thing's physical, if I remember correctly. So we'll go adamant. Um, let's just whatever. And let's just see its summary. Yeah, definitely adamant. Overcoat is interesting. Yeah, this thing is cool. It's got a great attack stat. So, all right. Let's um, let's send him to the box. Let's go back. Let me turn my encounters off. Let me go back to the PC. Let's set up a team for Roxanne, or Roxy. And then let's see how it goes. I'm going to be honest. This is one of my favorite parts of doing Let's Plays like this is where... Like, we obviously have our primary team, but I'm in a situation where I can kind of utilize some of our secondary and third teams and stuff, and that's just something that I enjoy, like, kind of just trying to think of a cool idea that'll help me get through a tough fight or something. So, I'm going to mess around with some different uh, mons that I have in the box and see if we can get them to 22 and what they look like at 22, um, and then decide what's next. All right, I've got a squad to take on Roxy and... I was feeling pretty confident at first, but I'm a little nervous, if I'm being honest, because my PC wasn't as good as I kind of thought it was going to be for this, but <laughs> I'm just going to lead it out with the Garbodor, which means we are about to get Hazard stacked, and that is not a good thing. Uh, I'll just click Bulldoze. He's going to go for Toxic Spikes. Okay, that's actually fine, because I do have a Pokemon that can deal with Toxic Spikes. So he goes for Gunk Shot, which is fine. He missed. 
and I do the bulldoze, and now I might actually be faster, so I'm gonna bulldoze again. Switches out the Garbodor, so they don't want me, want me to just uh, get the KO there, because that's the Spike Stacker, and it's an Amoongus next. All right, um, I mean, I, I definitely want to get rid of those spikes, but I think Smogmog is probably the play, right? I think we go Smogmog here. I have to get rid of those spikes, though. Um, Mudslide comes in and yawns, which is kind of cool. So maybe that's a good play. Maybe that's actually a good play. Because, like, worst case, he's going to hit me with, like, uh, well, one will absorb the spikes, but, yeah, like, Sludge Bomb, right? And that's that's pretty good resist. Let's yawn. It's going to go for growth. It's a little scary. But yawn's nice here. And then... I will go for Mud Shot, and then I'm gonna switch on this next one because he's gonna be asleep. So I get like a guaranteed turn of sleep here, and I'll drop his speed even further. Oh, it's but it's drowsy sleep. It's a different kind of sleep in this. I always forget that. All right, let's go Smog Mog then. I got rid of the Toxic Spikes, and then we'll just start hitting him with some uh, some Embers. Giga Drain made the right play. That's gonna be minimal damage. He did that growth though is a little annoying. All right, we're gonna Ember. And good damage. He groats again. I forget what the sleep in this game does. Sludge Bomb. Okay. And we're going to get through the Amoongus. Aye. All right. Let's see what's next. Scolipede. Okay. We're going to heal up. I think I think just healing here is the best play. Um, yeah. Let's just heal up. And he's gonna swords dance. Uh oh. All right, I'm gonna. I think I actually clear smog, dude. He has Aqua Tail. Oh my gosh, dude. Swords dance, Aqua Tail. All right, I have Fox. Um, Fox has Wing Attack, and it has priority because of Gale Wings. But that doesn't even do that much, dude. And he's gonna mega horn me, and Fox lives. But Fox only has it only has priority when its HP is full. So what is coming in to take a mega horn right now? Probably mudslide and then heal Fox up, or ch uh, yeah, I think it's mudslide and then Mac like heal Fox up to go for another wing attack. Aqua Tail. Okay, that's clutch. And then we're gonna heal. Uh, I need to go Hyper Potion, I think. Super Potion is 60. Okay, so that'll get me to full. And then Mudslide, hopefully. Oh, he's got Earthquake! No! Bro, is this a joke? Is this a joke? That's ridiculous. All right, we're gonna Wing Attack. Still not enough, dude. And he misses Megahorn. Oh my gosh, thank you. Okay, there's hope. Not much, but there's some. Not much, but there's some. Oi. Garbodor. I think we just wing attack this. Does he have Aftermath? Don't have Aftermath. That'd be really annoying. Okay. Salazzle. Poison and fire. Salazzle. What's the play here? Uh, oh no's maybe? Smogmog would be the normal play. The thing is like, obviously I could water pulse it, but I'm not convinced I'm like living a sludge bomb right now. The play is get asparagus in, but I, I have to, I don't want to bring it in without like, without a switch, I think. Um, I would hate to lose Fox right now. I have priority wing attack. Could have fake out too. Um, you would think just water pulsing here makes so much sense, but there's just no way Fox is living a hit, though. Like, there's just, I, I just don't see this thing living a sludge bomb right now. So... I think we're going oh nos Then seeing what he does. Hope it's not nasty plot. Which would be busted, by the way. Sludge wave. Okay. Yeah, we were not living that under any circumstances. Oh nos will, though. And we're gonna go, um... I think we go Ancient Power. Nasty plot. Dude, I should have thunder waved. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I should have thunder waved. Yeah, I think I have to thunder wave now. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I was wrong. 
Um, I kind of think I use my second potion here. I get three, so I think I use it here. He's going to flame burst. We should eat that, though. Okay, now we're basically hoping for an ancient power boost. I don't know if I want to use my third. I do have... Uh, he poisons me anyway, so we're, we're dead. But I do have the ability at least to wing attack for KO here. We actually don't even go down. Um, I think I still stay in and I just ancient power. It's going to switch, so I get a free ancient power on something. It's wheezing, which is really tough, but at least I get an ancient power on it. Like... I mean, at least there's that. Sorry, oh, Onos. No. My legs are broken and my That's speed is ruptured. Okay, um, this is going horribly wrong, but we're still kind of in it. Chase is actually good here, I think. Uh, we're gonna side beam. He's gonna willow me, which is super annoying, but side beam should chunk him. That's good. Get it confused? No. Side beam again. Toxic spikes. That's really annoying because that takes away from my stall with Gus at the end. All right, so we have a weakened Salazzle, which I beat, no problem. And then we have one thing left. This, we're just side beaming. He nasty plots, we're fine. All right, so what's the last Pokemon? Because if, it, if it's not that good, we might actually get through this fight. This was a really hard fight, dude. Like, this was a really hard fight. Um, Crobat. Okay, so I need Chase to be able to intimidate, I think. But the thing is, I don't actually hurt this thing with much... Let me see what he does if I just side beam. He super fangs. All right, that tells me that Chase actually might just be best here because I resist. Yeah, that's a 2 KO. We're just going to stay in. I'm just... He's going to taunt. Let's go, Chase. Tell me how my boy Chase actually holding it down. He lived. Okay. He's got Roost, but uh, we have one more potion, so we win this. We win this. I think. Don't just roost on me, bro. Tell me we're going to go min-max on these roosts. That would be devastating. Let's go! Yo, Chase walling off the last couple Pokemon there and beating Roxy. I mean, I got shredded, but it could have been worse. And we get Venoshock. Wow, that was a really hard fight. Okay, I, I now know what that person was talking about when they told me that the gym leaders get really hard later in the game. And I think that that's exactly it, is they're just able to evolve their stuff sooner. Because those were all fully evolved, and like, half my team isn't even evolved yet. Alright, well rest in peace to the buddy Smogmog. Really sad about that one. Uh, we lost Mudslide. And we lost Onos. Oh I'll definitely take that item back though. Um, but shoutouts to Chase, dude. Rock Psychic, actually with Intimidate, that saved our souls. And the rest of the homies still survived. All right, we got another renegade dude here. Let's see what you have. A Linoon. Yeah, we should be able to fly through these dudes. I don't think it's going to be too big of a problem. There's Flame Burst. Enigmatic Dash gave him a speed boost. And then he just baby doll eyes. That's fine. That's interesting. I don't know what that move is, but... A Pat Rat. We just Flame Burst you. Somehow he lives. It's going to drop my accuracy a little annoying, though. And what's left? A Ghastly. This is a Fire Ghastly. Uh, I probably can't do much to him, but, like, what does he do back to me, I guess? Mean look, yeah. I missed, and he tried to pursue me. And I missed again, and now he's trying to put me to sleep. There we go. All right, get out of my face. Darn kids. I don't like them kids out here. A Fero. Oh, gosh, it's Ice Fero. Okay. What's my answer to Ice Fero? Zippo? Oh, God, he pursued me. Stop with that. Stop with that. I'll spirit break you. Rock smash. Yeah, he's like dark. Dark ice, maybe. He's going to switch out. He's going to get a smoochy kiss right to the face. I'll ancient power you as well. Yeah, we're just flying through these. These shouldn't be too big of a problem. Like, don't get me wrong, Fero. Frostwalker, that's the priority move, yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, Fero is a beast. But I think we're going to be okay. There's a Dust Stocks. Um, what do I want to do against Dust Stocks? I guess throw rocks at it. Did you just throw a rock at me? Uh, yeah, I was trying to kill you. All the things. We just throw rocks at all the things. Venishar. They shouldn't do too much. Nah, I'll just throw more rocks at you. 
All right, easy trainer. I'll have to heal up, and I'm definitely, you know, not fully equipped with ancient powers now. Probably not a good choice, but that's all right. All right, whoa. What did we stumble into? Oh, an elevator. I guess second floor? There's three Pokeballs in here. Do I get to take one? What's going on in here? Something. There's a Pokeball on the desk, too. This book looks important. Alana, read it. Day one, it's not too bad down here. They gave us a place to live, sleep, and eat. Plus, the work isn't that hard. A lot of things I'm familiar with. I was even told I'd be guaranteed a job when it was over. People keep staring at me, making comments about how I'm keeping a diary. To be honest, I thought I'd jot my thoughts down. It makes me feel better. Day four, they fed us the same meal every day, a ham and sandwich with chips. Plus, they made us the same tasks every day. I'm not sure what's going on down here. I'm getting paid to pretty much do nothing. Day 17, for the last seven days, none of the staff has let us go upstairs. Some people are starting to get extremely anxious. The only staff we've seen in the past seven days are the people who bring us the food. Still the same meal. And three normal staff who just tell us the same thing over and over again, that they're fixing something. One guy suggested we all group together and fight our way out. But the next day, the guards brought a Bisharp in with them. And that's not a Pokemon anyone wants to deal with. Day 22, they finally let us out, but the entire upstairs smells terrible. I was able to catch up on the tasks I missed, but others weren't as lucky. Some people have started to go, well, missing. Whatever, though. I only have a little more than a month left down here. 38 days to go. There's a hidden card between the pages. Acquire the elevator pass. Ooh. Oh, there's blood down there. Uh. Uh, sir? Sir, is this about to get real dark? Oh, boy. 300 BF? Bruh? Oh, my God. The, the audio is getting, like, really creepy. Oh, my God. This is going to be a maze. They're doing some sort of... I flipped a switch in the trash. Oh, my God. They're doing some some sort of experiments down here, man. I'm, I'm like, really nervous. Oh, there's another book. It's a simplified guide on how to battle with Pokemon. Oh, my God. What does it say? They look like old newspaper. Unable to run with strong Pokemon. Yeah. Your party has been healed. Oh, that's clutch. I found a secret passageway down, but there was another entrance, so I'm wondering if I should just check that real quick. All right, so this room, there doesn't seem to be anything on, on it. The leader of the infamous crime group known as Team Rocket has disbanded. Oh my god. Do these all have stuff on them? No, only some. Izika will be the recognized the fifth best trainer in Airy. A recent interview also states that the Suns will be able to follow in their footsteps. So this room, I don't, I don't see anything outside of, like, lore. So I'm a little unsure, but uh, I guess we'll go to that hidden staircase that I found. All right, another door. Darn it! Gosh darn it, why? Rylus, A-Drive, I, uh, wait. Uh, do we press the button? Where did Rylus go? What's going on down here? Oh, there's Rylus. A-Drive, what's going on? Why did you run off like that? I'm sorry. Wait, why are you apologizing? How did you know there were renegades in the sewer? Because I've been following them. What? Let me start over. The group of renegades down there goes by the name of the Defiance. I don't know much about them, but three years ago, they attacked my family in our own home. I haven't been able to figure out why, but they kidnapped my younger brother. My mother was ter terribly injured in the process, leaving her in a coma to which she has not yet awoken from. Since the Defiance isn't very well known, the authorities weren't able to find any leads. My father called nonsense when looking for them, and that was the last day I saw him. So when the time came, I applied for the Vanguard Academy. I want to get strong enough so that when I do find my family, they can never be harmed again. I didn't mean to spill so much on you like that. I'm done here for now. I'll see you at the tournament, I guess. And I picked this up earlier. I thought you might find use for it. HM10 Frostwalker. See you around A-Drive, and please, just forget this ever happened. So we already had Frostwalker, uh, but we can use that to cross certain bodies of water. So if you see frozen grass, try interacting with it. So we're going to have to find some frozen grass now. Makes me wonder if I should go south here to the beach, because... I do feel like there was like a lot of grass down here. Or a lot of water, rather. Yeah, I don't see any frozen grass. Uh, is it time for the tournament yet, or what? They didn't really give me kind of any sort of instruction on where I'm supposed to go. Uh, I guess we're going to Route 6 now. All right, we made it to Route 6, and there's Calvin. There's some super weird people blocking the path ahead, so let's kick their butts. What if they're not doing anything wrong? Let's do it. Wait, who could it be? And new encounters? There's some stuff we haven't seen here, so we'll definitely take a look in the grass, but I'm curious what the issue is up here. Oh, boy. My lady, it seems we have company. 
Hmm, what do we have here? A couple of children, I see. We were just passing through, but what if I disturbed you? We apologize. His entire demeanor just changed. I've never seen him like this. You two are quite interesting. My name is Ayaka Sionsta. You two are Pokemon trainers, right? Yes, I love Pokemon. Do you think you could do battle for me? A battle right here? I would very much enjoy watching one. Let's do it, Adrov. Wait a minute. I I was not ready for whatever this was about to be. Oh, I got to battle Calvin. And he's got a Thievul. All right, the boy Fuego's here. Let's hit him with a signal beam. Good damage. Nice confusion. Hit yourself. Nice. I just signal beam you again, then. I just throw all the beams out at you. Get wrecked. Who's next? Staravia. I feel like I'm faster. Like, I definitely feel like I'm faster. I'm you turning out. I could have Electro Ball, but... Um, I think we go Zippo. Cause like an ancient power. And I don't think you can really do much unless you have steel wing. There's a wing attack and we'll just ancient power. Quick attack ain't going to do nothing either. And we're gonna get a boost, get a boost. No boost. I guess we'll try again for another boost. No harm. Hey, yeah. Get the boost. Get the boost Zippo. No. And a new mole. I always forget what type this thing is. Always forget what type this thing is. It was, what wasn't it? Ground water? I feel like it was ground water or something like that. But it had sap sipper. I remember it being something like that. Ground water with sap sipper. That sounds like it could be it. Uh, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, Fox? And just wing attack? I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I mean, I could stay in and take one ground hit, but that feels kind of sketchy. I can go Jack, but then I feel like he's gonna have he's gonna have something for that. I guess we'll go Jack and see what happens. I'm a little confused about this guy. I, I feel like I remember roughly what he what he was. Let's see if I can leech seed him or not. Actually, let's confuse Ray first. Oh, he has lava plumes. That's fun. Yeah, that's that's great. All right, we're gonna predict the lava plume. We're actually gonna go Fuego here. Get the flash fire boost and then fire off some signal beams. Feels like a good bet. There's the lava plume. We get a flash fire boost. I'm gonna fire off a signal beam. He's confused. He has amnesia. Alright, let's just keep signal beaming because he's gonna just keep amnesiaing. He does hit himself. That's pretty big. And one more hit. Hit yourself. Nice. Signal beam. Let's go. Fuego does it. I was really worried he was going to have a rock move, but after I saw Amnesia and Lava Plume, I felt it was a little unlikely. And there's a Riolu. A little nervous about, like, a counter here, but I think just Flame Burst is fine. I did get the Flash Fire boost, so this should do a lot. And it does. Nice. He's going to have a Lucario one day. Alrighty. Oh, my. Wonderful. Thank you, trainers. I'd love to stay longer, but I must be on my way. Dang, that woman, you know who she is? She's the daughter of the Sionsta, the family that owns nearly all of Arlen, including my family's house. But whatever, just pretend this didn't happen. I guess everyone's conflicted today. I should probably head back to the tournament hall. Level 24 and Raging Showdown. Okay, so we have a new level cap and we get an encounter here. So let me pop those encounters on and see what's here. Oh, we finally got citrus berries. That's kind of nice and some chopple berries and stuff. Ooh, a Skarmory, dude? Okay, that might just be the choice. Like, without even without even needing to look at other stuff, I feel like, how do you not take Skarmory? But I'll poke around. All right, so the last Pokemon I hadn't seen was Fanpy. So I do think Skarmory is the play. Like, I feel like Skarmory is just too good to not have. There's so many situations. Like, if we had Skarmory, we would have completely beat Roxy with no problems earlier, right? Like, it walled so many of those Pokemon, so... I definitely feel like we go Skarmory, so let me catch this thing. Nice, caught it, let's go. I'm gonna name him Tank. Shout out to the shiny Skarmory I got all those years ago when I hit 10,000 subscribers. Uh, I'm gonna go Bold. Or actually, um, what is it, Impish it's called? Impish, Sturdy, doesn't matter, send a box. I'm gonna go to the PC real quick as well. Yeah, what a beast, dude. This thing is gonna be a monster. But let me grab some candy so I can level up a little bit. Ooh, Fox is learning acrobatics. That's such a good pickup. That's a huge one. That would have made such a difference. And Yeti's learning Shadow Claw as well. Another nice pickup. We can get rid of Rollout for that. 
And Jack wants to learn Draining Kiss. Yo, that's so good. That's actually so good because it's priority Draining Kiss. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. We got a lot to do in the next episode, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Show some love and definitely check out Alestrals. You can check out the shelf below or go to shopalestrals.com and pick up a starter deck. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.